Hi, I'm Chelsea, and I'll be guiding you on this body-mind journey today where we use physical movement to really move through our emotions and to get in touch with our inner self and our inner truth. And today's theme is going to be focused on moving through fear. It's no doubt that we're in a time where there's a lot of chaos, a lot of uncertainty, and there's a lot of fear in the collective. But really, this is a time to awaken and to re-examine the internal self, to be incredibly discerning with the information that we're taking in, our beliefs, our thought patterns, the way that we're really showing up for not only ourselves, but for the rest of the people around us, the entire world. And what's happening with fear is we're allowing it to create this sense of disconnect, disconnect from our inner self, disconnect from divine guidance, from the source, the internal self, the higher self, that is really telling us that all of this is happening for a very divine reason. And all of it is being rooted in love. And we just have to trust that whatever is happening is meant to be. I don't know if I like that one. Hi, I'm Chelsea Marie, and I'll be guiding you on this body-mind journey where we use physical movement of the body to move through the emotion of fear. Now, this is a focus because it's no doubt that we're in a time of a lot of collective fear. It's a time of uncertainty. There's a lot of chaos, and there's really this kind of dense emotion of not knowing what's going to happen and being really afraid of the future. And this is a really important time for us all because it's a time to awaken and it's a time to re-examine how we're showing up for ourselves, how we're showing up for others, our deep-rooted beliefs, our thought patterns, the emotions, the sensations that we're feeling in our physical body, and really realigning ourselves and orienting back to our inner truth and getting really clear on what is it that our higher self is telling us. What is our inner wisdom? Not what is the media projecting, not what this fear is being projected upon us. Instead, we need to clear out this channel, clear out the body, clear out the fear, acknowledge it, but let it go. When we clear away this channel, we can then open up to divine guidance and the really truthful message that all of this is happening for the highest good. So in today's session, this is something that is very unique. It's not just a workout and it's not just moving through the physical body. We're going to be combining meditation, breath work, yoga, and strength training for a full body exploration of the self where we're using the physical body to then explore parts of our mental, our emotional, and our spiritual bodies as well. So for today's session, all you need is a open space, your own body, no equipment needed. So if you're at home right now, you're not able to go outside, your gym's closed down, this is the perfect thing to be doing. So to begin, find a comfortable seat. You can grab a meditation pillow. You can simply sit cross-legged and just come into a comfortable seat with the spine elongated. Have your hands resting on your lap and close the eyes. Let's turn the gaze inward. If you're feeling any tension, maybe there's some tension in your neck, your upper back, hips, just let it go. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We're just aligning ourselves with the breath. Allow the breath to just find its own rhythm, to find its own natural pace. We're not trying to control the breath. We're just letting it be. Notice if your breath is a bit short or if it's difficult to elongate the inhales and the exhales. Take note of this. 
See if you can just surrender to its own rhythm. As I mentioned, in this session, we're going to explore fear. This is a time where there's a lot of fear in the collective. And it's only natural for you to feel this fear in yourself. Perhaps you feel the fear somewhere in the physical body. Maybe it's in your neck. Maybe there's tension in your lower back. Maybe you feel it deep in the pit of your stomach, this uneasiness. Wherever you feel fear right now, just acknowledge it. Acknowledge its presence. It's natural and normal to feel it. Take some deep breaths into the belly. Feel it rise and fall with every inhale and every exhale. Remember that you are not fear. Fear is simply a guest in this house, this temple that is your body. You can greet it with love, with kindness. But you can kindly ask it to leave. Because fear does not serve you. If you feel fear, use the breath to just wave it goodbye, to let it go. Fear is not you, it's not the truth. It's an illusion, it's a veil that is placed over the internal truth, the wisdom of the self, of the heart, that deep down knows that all there exists is love, nothing else. When we have fear in the body, and we allow it to permeate every cell of our being, we're creating a divide, a blockage, and the channel of communication with the higher self. I want you to keep breathing deeply and just imagine fear dissipating through your body, letting it clear through you. Allow yourself to create space. Use the breath to create this space. When we create this spaciousness, that's when we can listen to our inner wisdom, the higher self, the voice that tells us that all that is happening is for the highest good. We just need to trust. Take another deep inhale here. Exhale. It all. And gently open the eyes. Come back into the space. Come back into the room. Feel what may have shifted for you. And before we get started in the movements, we're going to start with some breath work to really connect the breath. And connecting with the breath allows the connection to be formed between the mind and the body. So you can bring your right hand up. Have your thumb and your ring finger out. You're going to plug your right nostril with your thumb and inhale through the left nostril. You can have your eyes closed. 
plug the left nostril, hold, release through the right. Inhale through the right nostril, hold, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, hold, exhale through the right. Inhale to the right, hold, exhale to the left. Inhale, left, hold, exhale, right. Inhale, right, hold, exhale, left. Inhale, left, hold, exhale, right. Last round, inhale right, hold, exhale left. You can bring your hand back down to your lap, open your eyes, come back to the space. We're gonna take a few gentle neck rolls to the right, so you can drop your chin down and gently roll your head to the right and around. We're gonna go for three rotations here. Just creating some space in the neck, allowing the spine to be long. Relieving any tension. Shift to the left. Just feel into every little movement of the body here. What do you carry? What needs to be let go of? Come back to center. We're going to take the left arm and rotate it behind us for three, two, one. Create circles going forward for three, two, one. Spin the right side back for one, two, three. Rotate forward for one, two, three. Now we're going to create some simple circles with the wrists. So we're just rolling out the wrists, connecting with the movements of the wrists, of the fingers, the hands, where we can gain a lot of our stability and our support as we go through today's movement practice. Allow yourself to be fluid, move like water. Move the way your body is designed, how it wants to. Now you can remove the seat beneath you if you were sitting on one. That to the side. Hold on to your hands and knees. We're gonna create some circles with our hips so you can lift your left leg straight out to the side, kind of like you're peeing on a fire hydrant. Just creating some circles here. We're gonna go for 10 on each side. Allow the hip socket to be loose. Again, we're just creating space in the body, creating flow. Onto the other side. We're also connecting with the glute muscles here. When you finish time, you can come back to your hands and knees. We're going to press up to a downward facing dog. You can pedal the feet. Shake your head yes, yeah, shake your head no. Find some easy movement here in the body. We just are trying to connect with the breath so we can connect deeper with the body. Find stillness. And walk your feet up to the top of your mat or to your hands. 
and fold. Allow yourself to be heavy. Allow your arms to just hang for a moment. And close your eyes. Just feel what it's like to be upside down. What does it feel like? When you're ready, you can inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the right foot back, come into a low lunge. Right knee comes to the ground. And open up your chest on your Exhale, step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale to your knees, chest, all the way up to an upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Drop the left knee down. Find space in the chest and the heart. And then step the left foot up to meet the right and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead, little baby back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back, come into a low lunge. Open up the chest. Exhale, step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, knees, chest, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg extends. Exhale, step the left leg through to a low lunge. Drop the right knee down. Open up the chest, open up the heart center. Exhale, step the right foot to meet the left and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands come to a heart center. Now we've created some movement, some space in the body. We've created a lot of space in the spine and elongation. So now we're going to move into the flows. So the first one's going to be focused on the lower body. So you're going to make your way back to a downward facing dog. I want you to just close your eyes for a moment, and I want you to take this opportunity to reconnect with the intention, reconnect with the body, and the desire to move through fear, to let fear go as we move with the physical body so we can allow the spirit to speak through us, the soul, the real self. Inhale, the right leg up, Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the right leg through to a low lunge and rise up. You're going to bring your hands to heart center, to center, to connect with the heart. And you're going to place all of your weight in this right leg and specifically in the right heel. We're going to take a lunge here and we're going to lift the left knee up towards the chest. Then we're going to reverse back to a lunge, lift the left knee to the chest. We're going to go for 10 here. You can find your own pace. We're going for one, two, three, Use the right glute to guide the movement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Step the left foot back, drop the hands down to the ground, and inhale the right leg lifts up. Exhale, you're gonna drop the left knee to the ground, keep the right leg up. And we're going to squeeze the glute, the right glute, and kick the leg up for one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, extend that right leg back up and drop it back down. We're going right into the next side. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Ex exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the left leg through to a low lunge and rise up. Bring your hands to heart center. Put all of the weight into the left leg, power through the quads, the glutes. We're going to take a lunge here. We're going to bring the right knee up towards the chest for one. Step back to a lunge, knee to chest for two. Step back to lunge, knee to chest, three. Find your own pace. We're going for 10. Find your balance. Find stability in that left leg. Remember, you can use the glutes. The glutes are very powerful. They're the largest muscle in the body. Don't be afraid to use them. Two more. Step the right foot back. Lower the hands down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee down to the ground. Left leg stays extended. We're going to go for 10. Glute kicks here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, drop it down to the mat. Take a moment here in Downward Dog to close your eyes and just reconnect with the breath. You feel like you lost connection with the breath. Take this pause as an opportunity to reorient yourself. When we lose connection with the breath, we're losing the connection between our mind and our body. So find the breath, find stability in its rhythm, and allow it to guide each movement. When you're ready, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Right leg steps through to a low lunge. Rise up, hands to prayer. Power up the right leg. Come into a lunge and pick the left knee up to meet your chest for one. Step back, knee to chest for two. Lunge, knee to chest three. Find your own pace. We're going for 10. Two more, nine, last one, 10. Step the left foot back. Hands come down to the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Come down to your left knee. Keep the right leg extended. We're going for 10 glute kicks here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, extend the right leg up. Exhale, drop it down. Right into the next side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the left leg through. Come into a low lunge. Hands to heart center. When we have our hands to heart center and we are aligned with our inner self. We are aligned with purity, consciousness. We are gonna send out and radiate good vibes. Good vibes for the planet, for all of humanity. This last set is for everyone. We have power up the left legs. Come into a low lunge. Pick the right foot up, knee to chest. Step back, low lunge. Bring the right knee up to the chest. Step back, lunge. Going for 10 here. Find your pace. Find your rhythm. One, 
two, last one. Step the right foot back, hands come down to the mat. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, drop the right knee down, keep the left leg extended. Going for 10 glute kickbacks here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, drop it down. We'll take a moment here in downward dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let it go. Maybe you're feeling some sensations in the body. Maybe your legs are burning a little bit. Your glutes are burning a little bit. Acknowledge the sensations. Those sensations are here to remind you that you are alive. You are present. You are here in this physical body. What a gift it is you've been given. You can come onto your hands and your knees. Take a quick break. So the next flow is going to be going into the upper body, specifically into the shoulders. We're going to do a little bit of the core and also the triceps and the arms, as well as the chest. So when you're ready, we're going to come up to a plank. We're just going to hold this for a quick moment. And we're just going to feel that internal fire, kind of that burning sensation in our belly. Perhaps you're feeling fear in the pit of your stomach. That's, that's normal. That's where the place of our security, our will, our motivation, our trust, it's all rooted there. When you're feeling it in the lower part of your body, that fear, that's the place of the energetic body that's concerned with the root of the material world. It's concerned with the ego, the individual self. Let's transmute that fear, turn it into energy that we can use to spread love to the collective. When you start to feel that little burn in your belly, you can press to a downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, extend the right leg up, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the right leg up, exhale, knee comes in halfway. You're going to spin and come on to the right hand and the edge of the left foot. You're going to bring this right leg through and we're going to lift it up for some crunches on the side of the abdomen. We're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to a three-legged dog. And you're going to bring that right knee through, drop it down to the floor, pick the left leg up. You can walk the hands forward and out slightly, and we're going to come into 10 pushes here. So we're going to come down for one, two, three, four, five. Keep your core tight. Left glute. Engaged, eight, nine, ten. You can bring those hands to center. Inhale, pick the left leg up. We're going right into the next side. So we're going to exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, knee comes in halfway. We're going to come onto the left hand, spin onto the right edge of the foot. Take this left leg out to the side. We're going to kick up for a leg lift for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to center. Extend the left leg up. Bring it in halfway. Drop the left knee down to the ground. Pick the right leg up. You're going to walk the hands up and out slightly. Come down for push ups. Down for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands come back to center. Inhale, pick up the right leg. Right into the next side. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the right leg up. Exhale, knee comes in halfway. Come into the right hand, side edge of the left foot. Right leg comes through. We're going to kick up to activate those abs for one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. You've got this, eight, nine, 10. Come back to center, right leg extends, bring your right knee through, comes down to the ground. Pick up the left leg, activate that left glute, walk the hands forward and out slightly. Come down for push-ups for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Imagine you're pushing away fear, getting rid of it. Come back to center, pick up that left leg, right into the next side, bring knee to nose. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, knee comes in halfway, spin onto the left hand, right edge of the foot. Left leg comes through, leg lifts here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to center. Extend the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left knee through, down to the ground. Pick the right leg up, squeeze the right glutes, walk your hands up and out slightly, come down for push-ups for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Hands come to center, inhale, extend that right leg up, and drop it down. You're gonna come into a downward facing dog and just close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Just feel into the body, feel into the sensations. Maybe you're feeling a lot of energy, a lot of movement in all of the cells of your body. Maybe it feels like you, you finally are coming alive. Maybe you've been sitting in fear for too long, in disbelief, but here you are, alive in your body, healthy, well. You can feel into the strength of the entire body, the entire system. Just breathe into the knowingness that the body is fully capable of healing you, of keeping you protected, and allowing you to live with vitality, with energy, with strength through even times like this. Let's breathe into gratitude for the body. When you're ready, come to your hands and your knees and drop back to a seat. Take a pause. The next flow that we're going to be going into is again for the lower body and a little bit more of the abs. We're focusing a lot on the core throughout this session because this is where fear is usually getting stuck. It's usually getting stuck in that deep pit in our stomach that keeps us believing that we aren't safe and that we can't, we can't trust whatever is happening to us. And it's creating this inability to find control. So the natural reaction we have is to generate fear and to keep it locked into our abdomen and locked into this kind of rooting into ourselves as an individual instead of allowing ourselves to just trust, to just be, to let what is happen to unfold naturally. So for this next one, we're going to be focusing on the power and the strength of the legs rooting into the earth and also activating the core so that we can free up any of that emotion that might be stuck there. So when you're ready, come into a downward facing dog. We're just gonna take a quick, brief moment here to find that connection with the breath, the steadiness with the self. When you're ready, you can either step or jump your feet up to meet your hands and fold. You're gonna inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms overhead, hands come to heart center. Again, we're reorienting ourselves towards love, towards truth. You can stay facing this way or you can come to the side edge of your mat if you're using any of the mat. For this, we're going to be doing curtsy lunges to squats. So we're going to start by taking the left foot back 
and lunging into the right leg. Then we're gonna come into the center and do the squat. We're gonna take the right foot back, lunge, come to the center, squat. We're gonna go for 20 of these lunges with 10 squats in between. So find strength in the legs, root yourself to the floor, to the earth. Remember that you are safe, you are secure, your body has the ability, the immune system is made to fight off disease, it's made to fight off these viruses, it's made to protect you. But also acknowledge that you are not this body, it's just part of you. You are so, so, so far beyond it. We have to be careful not to identify with the body because when we identify with the body, that's when fear can really set in. Because when we believe that we are only the body, we are limiting our existence. We are limiting our power, our wisdom, our divinity. We're gonna go for one more. Lunge right here. One more squat, last lunge, rise up, come to your mat, into a plank position. We're gonna go for 20 mountain climbers here. So you're gonna bring the right knee towards your chest, switch, bring your left knee up. Right knee towards the chest, switch to the left. Going for 20. Find your pace, find your rhythm, Find that strength. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Press back to lay down. We're facing dog. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, release. Feel that energy that you're creating in your body, that spaciousness that you're creating. Allow fear to just move right through you. A few more deep breaths here. When you're ready, you can hop your feet up to meet your hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's orient ourselves towards love, love for humanity, love for the collective. You can stay facing this way or you can turn to the side edge of your mat. You're gonna go for 20 lunges and 10 squats, starting with the left leg, coming behind for one. Squat, lunge two. Squat, lunge three. Squat, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're halfway there. You've got this. If you're feeling any burning sensations in your legs, again, it's a reminder that you are here and you're alive. You should be so thankful for this physical body that you have this healthy body, this able body, that's really granting you permission to feel into your emotions, feel into the fear, and release it. It's time to push through and let it go. Almost there. One more set of lunges. Last one, and rise up. Come back to your mat. Hands to the floor, plank position, 20 mountain climbers here. Find your rhythm, let's go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Press back to downward facing dog. Take some deep breaths here. <sighs> 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 
breathe into the body. Again, show it some compassion, gratitude. Acknowledge all this energy that you can generate with your physical body to process all of the emotions, all of the events, all of the uncertainty that's happening right now. The body is not here to limit us. It's not here to tell us that we're separate. It's here to remind us that we are beyond it. We just get really stuck in our own little story, our individual self, without realizing that we're all linked to this ever going chain. When you're ready, you can jump your feet up to meet your hands. And exhale, fold. We're going for the last set here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, radiate love, radiate positivity, health, vitality. You can either stay facing this way or you can come to the side edge. Going for 20 lunges, 10 squats. Let's start with the left leg going back for one. Squat, lunge two. If you're feeling like you're hitting an edge, you're hitting a wall, see if you can just use the breath to push you closer. Maybe there's something that you need to break through. Maybe there's something that needs to be released. Just breathe into it, move through it. Connect with your body's wisdom. Keep breathing through your nose. If you're breathing through the nose, you're stilling the mind. You're keeping yourself in peace. Even though we're doing a lot of physical movement, a lot of exertion, creating peace within. Last set of lunges. Last squat, last one, rise up, come back to your mat, come back to the space, drop your hands to the ground, come into a plank position, 20 mountain climbers, last set, let's go, one, two, feel the burn in your belly, burn through that fear, burn through any emotions that you're carrying that don't serve you. Push through. You done? Come back to a downward facing dog. Close your eyes. Turn the gaze inward. Just allow yourself to experience all of the sensations in the body. Maybe you're feeling burning sensation in your belly. Perhaps you're really just burning through fear. Fear of the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen. Maybe you're feeling some burning sensations in your legs and you just need a reminder of your power and of your strength. If you're feeling some sweat drip down on your face, coming down the back of your neck, through your ear. It's just reminding you that you need to just let go of something. The emotional, the mental bodies, they're both related to the physical. So we can heal ourselves from the outside within. You're ready to come down to your hands and knees. We're gonna make our way to our backs. We're gonna go through the last and final flow for today. So you can come all the way to your back. You're gonna bring your legs up, feet to the sky. You can have your hands to the side of your body or underneath your tailbones, tailbone. <laughs> and you're just gonna drop the legs slowly down towards the ground, stopping a few inches above. 
And then you're going to pick your legs back up, feet back up to the sky. We're going to go for 10 leg lifts here. So find your own rhythm, your own pace. This is very slow, very controlled. You might notice that this is a huge contrast from that last flow that we did where we were generating so much energy with our body. Now we're really just slowing it down. Well, that's what it's like when you're in a fight or flight mode, when you're in fear, when you're stressed out. But feel this peace, this stillness, this ease that's not occurring. You feel that contrast? It feels incredibly clear. Incredibly clear. You can close your eyes here. Just feel the strength of your abdomen, the lower belly. When you've completed 10 leg lifts, you're going to rock yourself up. You're going to lift your legs up. Weight is all in your booty on the ground. You're finding balance here. And we're going to go for some Russian twist. So we're going to bring our hands to again, heart center, aligning with the heart, aligning with the soul, the truth. And we're just going to turn to the right and then to the left. We're going to go for 20 here every time we hit the right. We're on four, five, six, seven, eight. Dedicate this movement towards peace, towards love towards good health for all of humanity and for yourself. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to bring your heels down to the ground. Hands come right behind you. You're going to lift your sit bones up right now. And we're just going to create some very micro tricep dips. So we're going to slowly bend our elbows and our sit bones without touching ground and then lift up with our arms. So slowly dip and lift. We're going to go for 10 here. Two, three, four, five, Six, you should be feeling this in the backs of your arms. Eight, nine, ten. So you come back to your, your back. Take a deep breath in and exhale through the mouth. Bring your legs back up, feet to the sky, hands to the side of your body or underneath your tailbone. And we're just going to slowly drop the legs down towards the ground, stopping a few inches above, and then lifting back up. We're going for 10 leg lifts here. You can find your own pace, your own rhythm. Really just listen to how your body wants to move. You can close your eyes here to really turn inward. And steadiness in the breath. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. Even if you have some thoughts appearing in your head throughout this movement, just acknowledge them. Just let them go. Find your inner peace through this movement. And after you've completed 10, you can rock yourself up. Keep your feet lifted, hands to heart center. Let's dedicate to this movement again towards the collective. And we're going to 
turn to the right for one, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just twisting the abdomen, engaging the core, connecting with our internal fire, our inner power that can sometimes get lost during times like this. Here for three, two, last one, one. Drop the heels to the ground. Hands come behind your body. Sit bones lift up. We're gonna take a few tricep dips here, four times. So we're gonna drop the sit bones down, bend the elbows and lift. Bend the elbows. Lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop back onto your back. Inhale the legs up. This is the last set. Hands can come to the sides or underneath the tailbones. And let's slowly drop the legs down towards the ground and lift. This is the last set. So how are you going to show up to this one? Can you meet this with strength, with inner serenity, with tranquility, even through maybe these harder physical movements? Now is the opportunity to really move through whatever emotions you're dealing with. And to just connect with yourself. That inner self that's resting beneath all of which you are feeling. We have to remind ourselves that we are not our emotions, we are not our fear. They're simply part of us, but they are not us. They're here to be acknowledged and loved, but we should not attach with them completely. Last couple of reps here. When you're ready, rock up. Legs stay lifted, hands to heart center. Last one in dedication towards humanity, towards love, to health, well-being for all beings. Turn to the right, to the left. Right for two, left, three, four, keep twisting, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Drop the heels to the ground, hands come behind you, lift your sit bones up, and a gentle bend into the elbows, and lift. Dip, lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Come into your back, you can bring your knees into your chest, Give yourself a hug. Just take a few deep breaths here. Just holding yourself. Just feel into the body. Just repeat to yourself, I am safe in this body. I trust my body and its ability to protect me and to heal me. I am grateful for this healthy body, this able body I have. I am compassionate towards my feelings, towards my emotions, to the sensations I feel in my body, but I know that they are not me. 
I am just the experiencer of it all. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Breathe in love. Exhale, radiance. Feel into the safety. The safety is true. You are safe. When you're ready, you can rock up to a seat. You can grab a meditation pillow if you were sitting on one. We're just going to make our way to our final meditation. You can bring the legs to a cross-legged position. Hands can rest onto our lap to ground down. Gently close the eyes, turn the gaze back in. Take some deep breaths here. Just reconnect with the breath. I want you to feel into what may have shifted, not only physically, but internally. How do you feel right now sitting in this position compared to where you were when we first started or when you first even turned on this video? How has your internal state changed? Perhaps you feel more clear Maybe you feel the spaciousness within. You feel the sense of calmness or relief. Maybe you have new certainty to trust in what is unfolding and what is coming. Breathe into this center of peace, of tranquility. Feel into the stillness that is a contrast from all of that physical movement we just generated with the body. I want you to just be here with yourself as you are, not trying to change the breath, not trying to make the body do anything, not trying to put it in a position to move it through a flow. Just let yourself be. During this time, there really is nowhere to go other than here. We are being asked to re-examine ourselves, to awaken, to really take a look at those beliefs, those thoughts, emotions, our truth. Let's use this time of stillness as an opportunity to reorient ourselves towards You can bring one hand or both of your hands to your heart center. Just breathe into the heart. Feel it gently rise and fall with every inhale and every exhale. And feel your hands pressed against your chest. They're warm. And imagine your hands being coated in white light and your hands just offering this love, this security back to the inner self. You are not the fear. 
You are not the disbelief. You are not your need for control. You are not concern. What you are is this untouched flame, this eternal flame that rests within the heart that is the soul. That flame cannot be blown out, cannot be touched, cannot be affected even by this virus. This eternal flame burns forever. And it is nothing but grace, love, serenity, bliss. Realign yourself with your truth. As you breathe into the heart center, as you reorient your awareness towards your truth, I want you to just affirm to yourself silently or out loud, I trust that all that is happening is for the highest good. I do what I can, and I surrender all else to the universe. I choose to align myself with love, because when I align myself with love, I serve not only myself, but I serve all, all of humanity. I want you to feel into this space inside of you where the entire universe dwells within. When you are within this place inside of you, and when I am within this place inside of me, we are all one forever and always. When you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes, bring your hands back down to your lap, come back into the room, the space, wherever you may be right now. And just feel, feel what may have shifted for you. I hope you're feeling like a clear channel. I hope you're feeling rejuvenated, renewed, realigned. And I hope that you're able to really find this state of peace or quiet and this really true belief that all is well and you are perfectly safe and everything is happening exactly as it's meant to. I want to thank you again so much for joining me on this body mind journey today and please if this helped you in any sort of way please share it out share it with your friends share it with your family I know we're at a time where a lot of us can't go outside and we can't really be doing our daily activities. A lot of us are working from home and we really just need to move because movement truly is medicine. And when we move through the body, we can move through that fear, we can move through those emotions. So if this helped you in any way, please share it out, spread the love. Thank you so much.